Hey there, how's it going? My name is OG Junkyard, and today I'm gonna go over how do I fix the color of my, wham my webcam? Why does it look too orange, or why does it look too blue? And to make it real simple, I'm gonna give you the TLDR, how do you fix it? And then after that, I'm gonna talk about color temperature, white balance, and how do I figure out the color temperature of the lights I've got, and how do I set the white balance on my camera? So if you only wanna fix your webcam, like your Logitech C920, um, or the Logitech Brio or something like that, I'll show you how to, how to use Logitech, one of Logitech's uh, webcam softwares. You can also do this for other, other webcams as well, like the Razer, uh, uh, Kyo, Kyo, whatever it's called, uh, but, or, or your actual, you know, DSLR um, type camera, or in my case, the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K, which is what you're watching me on. Um, I'm gonna show you how to figure out the color temperature and how to adjust the white balance. And we're gonna talk about, you know, how, how to find the color, uh, color temperature of a light and then how to set the white balance of your camera so it all looks good. So first off, we're gonna give you a TLDR. If you've only wanna watch like two minutes of this video, this is what to watch. And then we'll get into the more in-depth detail and theory. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up a piece of software called Logitech uh, Camera Settings, I believe is what it's called. Let me double check. Yeah, Logitech Camera Settings. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. And what, oh, well, wrong thing. Uh, what I've got here is the actual app Logitech Camera Settings, and I'm gonna pull up a, a camera. Uh, let's see. Now, this one I've already been playing with, but we're gonna, I'm gonna talk to you about like what makes a camera blue and what makes it uh, uh, orange, and it comes down to this thing called white balance. Now, I'm gonna set this back up to about 50% where it originally was. I'm gonna turn on auto white balance. Now, uh, this camera, uh, this camera right here, right in front of me, uh, that this camera can't see, is a Logitech C920. It is uh, a, a good webcam. It shoots like 1080p, uh, 30 or 60 uh, frames per second video, but it looks a little off. These... Uh, I'm not gonna tell you what these these lights are, like this one right here, uh, and the other two that I've got in front of me. I'm not gonna tell you what the color temperature of those is yet, but I'm just gonna show you how to quickly fix this. So we're gonna play with this auto white balance, and you're gonna see like as I turn it down, and you can see it's kind of hard to I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so it's easier for you to see. Uh, there we go. Right here, you've got a, a little uh, number followed by the letter K. Zero K. As I turn it all the way to the top, that camera now looks orange. As I turn it all the way to the bottom, it now looks blue. So you're going to basically tweak this until it looks a bit more normal. That looks about right, but the image is too bright. Uh, this this light right here makes me look a little bit too washed out. So I'll turn the brightness down. If the, if the room is darker, I would uh, I would just play with it and adjust it. But this this looks pretty good. The shirt color is a, is a little different, you know, in real life. It's somewhere between what the camera on the bottom left sees and what the camera on the right sees. It's something like that. But that's how you kind of quickly fix your webcam software. You just play with the white balance, turn off auto white balance, and then just slide it back and forth until it looks about right. It doesn't look too blue, it doesn't look too orange, it looks about right. Now, that's the TLDR. Going back to what I originally said uh, real fast, I'm gonna give you more details, a lot more details probably way more details than you ever thought you wanted. But this will help you understand, if I can even get this thing set up anymore, uh, this will help you understand how to actually 
fix this. So I'm gonna turn off the, this camera and we're gonna put, uh, put away uh, the, uh, the Logitech software. So we're already done with the TL TLDR. Why? Why does a camera look, uh, why does the, it look blue or look orange? Um, and it comes down to this thing called color temperature. And every single light, whether it is a pocket, uh, pocket lighter, like a, a, you know, what you light a cigarette with, or a campfire, or the sun, or, you know, a, a welding, uh, or, or cutting torch. Um, they all have a temperature to the actual flame or to the actual source that produces the light. And the colder that temperature is, the lower that K number is. And that K happens to stand for Kelvin, which is a scientific unit of measurement to, uh, to discuss the temperature of something. So a candle would be something like we'll say 2000 K and something like a super, super bright, hot, uh, you know, sun um, or star would be, you know, if it was, if it were the same distance as the, the sun, uh, one that's way bigger, way hotter would look more blue or, or white or more intense white than our sun does. But the distance we are, the sun is approximately, we'll say 6,500 K Kelvin. And then as you get into um, other types of lights, whether you're talking about like incandescent lights or um, fluorescent lights or daylight light bulbs that you buy from something like Home Depot, they all have different temperatures. So why you look blue or orange is your camera is calibrated, the white balance on the camera is calibrated too high or too low in relation to the actual light bulb. So how do we figure out, uh, that that's kind of covers the color temperatures and the white balance. We don't have in, in real life, our eyes do not have any control over what that color temperature is. You know, we, we can't adjust it. I can't sit here and like turn a little, turn a little knob and now I'm seeing uh, something that's orange, uh, you know, looking at at, a, at something that's being lit by a, a candlelight and it looks orange. I turn the, you know, my internal white balance way down and now it looks, looks white or blue. I can't do that. But we can with things like webcams or, or DSLRs or, or uh, cinema cameras, things like that. So that's, that's how we kind of address the color temperature and the, and the white balance. We just have to adjust it um, to match the color temperature of that light. Now I learned all this because I went to act, I actually took a three month film workshop where I produced my own short film. And we spent a lot of time figuring out how to light different scenes to look different ways. We actually took these things that are called gel filters. And we took a, a light that had a color temperature of 6,500 or 5,500 K and we put a color, uh, color gel over the top of it to make it look like, look orange, make it look like an, a incandescent light, uh, like a, like you, somebody would be over a, um, over a oil lamp. So we could do like in a, like 1800s, they're writing a letter to their loved one over, you know, a, a oil lamp. And then because we were inside and we wanted to shoot kind of like an outside shot, we had somebody and they, they were working with like, a green screen or, or whatever, we you know had a park bench and we sat them down the park bench and we adjusted the light to make it super bright. And we put a color filter over a light bulb that was like, I think 3,300 to 3,600K. And we made it look bl more blue, more like actual daylight. And we adjusted you know the camera settings and, and the light bulb with these color filters to match that. And so that's why these cameras have this setting called white balance. It allows you to make the image that the camera sees more natural, uh, to, more comparable to what our eyes see. So how do we figure out the color temperature of a light or my lights or your lights or whatever? Well, there's a couple of ways to do it. 
If you're buying lights, it's really easy. You can simply, you know, pull up, you know, something like you, like if you're going to like the hardware store, like Home Depot or Lowe's or, or whatever, you can basically search for your lights, search for the type of lights you want. And you can see a lot of times, like this one here says 4,000K. And then this one down here says 3,000K. And then there's probably some on here. Like this one says 2,700K. I think we can find one in here. Uh, this one that my head's covering is 5,000K. These are all light, uh, these are all color temperatures of those light bulbs. So then we could basically buy one of these lights, stick it right in front of us, turn it on, and then adjust the camera to that color temperature adjust the white balance of the camera to that color temperature, and it would look uh, much more normal. It wouldn't be orange, it wouldn't be blue, it would look much more normal. So that's basically how we find it. And if, we, if we're looking at lights, uh, you can do this. But you say, hey, Junkyard, uh, I already have lights. Wh why don't I just, you know, how, how do I look at those? Uh, how do I match to those? Well, uh, the easiest way to do it is uh, a lot of times light bulbs to make it so that whenever they burn out and we want to replace them, they actually have the color temperature written on the actual bulb itself. You can turn, like if, if the light's on, turn it off, give it, you know, five, 10 minutes to cool down, then go actually take it out of the, out of the socket and look at it. Um, and it should say on there, you know, it has wattage, like this one is a 60 watt uh, bulb but it also will probably have on there the color temperature of the light itself. And you can see this exact same number, like 2,700K. You could probably see it either on the bulb itself or on the casing or whatever. You can, you should be able to see it. If you don't, uh, you know, you can sometimes tell by simply looking at the light itself. A incandescent light will have that, that little wire in there and it coils across and comes back down. Those are anywhere from, we'll say 2,700K to about 3,500K. They're incandescent lights. A daylight bulb, or one that looks really white, um, is probably 5,000K or 5,500K or 6,500K if you go like on the, on the really extreme end. And so that's what you do, is you find the color temperature on that light bulb. And if we look at these, we've got this one here is uh, 3,000K. If and what you'll start to see is as we go uh, up in the temperature, you'll start seeing things like uh, this one doesn't really uh, tells you soft white, uh, or they'll sometimes say incandescent. Um, but as you go up in color temperatures, once you get around four thousand, you're looking at fluorescent, like big tube lights, um, and they have like a different flicker profile and that kind of stuff. But uh, we're not going to get into that. But just remember, incandescents are around like 2,700 to, we'll say 3,000, maybe 3,500 on the hotter end. Fluorescent bulbs are like 3,900 to 4,200K. Once you start getting into daylight or bright white lights, they're 5,000K to 6,500K or 6,500K. Like this one is a daylight, like daylight, daylight light bulb, and it's 6,500K. And this one is a daylight light bulb, but it's 5,000K. So you need to look at the, at the color temperature of the light bulb, and then you could start adjusting your white balance to match that. So at this point, we've talked about color temperatures, we've talked about white balance, and we talked about how to find the color temperature of your light. How do I set the white balance on my camera? This is what we're gonna be doing. So like I was showing you earlier, in this case, I'm gonna have to, we're gonna do some fancy magic here real fast. All right, so once again, I'll just crop this in. We look at the white balance on, in the settings for the camera we're using. In this case, this uh, this Logitech piece of software, uh, Logitech camera settings, it is for the Logitech webcams. If I were to, I don't happen to have my iPad on me, one sec. All 
Okay, I've got my iPad. So, uh, you can kind of see in the top right here, it says 5600K. Um, this actually controls the, the, the face cam. So as I turn it up, I look more orange. As I turn it down, I look more blue. And so if I turn it all the way down, I'm really blue. If I turn it all the way up, I'm really orange. So let's go, let's put it back to where it was, which was 5,600. Oh, almost. There we go. So now the camera you're viewing me on looks normal. And so that's how we adjust that. That setting, once again, is called white balance. I've been talking about it a lot. And basically the reason why your webcam is too orange or too blue um, or your camera is too orange, too blue is because the white balance setting on your camera is not matched to the lights you are using. It's very simple, very easy to fix. It just takes a little bit of matching the numbers. Thank you for watching. This has been how do I fix my webcam that's too blue or orange and I hope you enjoyed watching and learned something new. Thank you.